Good. There you go, dude. Uh, on Friday, he had a very good uh, practice session. Uh, won't be until this Friday. We actually have a full-fledged scrimmage. Uh, so just a typical format where uh, it was very competitive in, in, in certain situations, in third down situation where the offense got the advantage, one-on-one uh, -on -one situations throughout the field where defensively uh, won the day. Uh, but a very productive day on Friday, coupled with a day and today that was very intense that allowed the offense and defense to challenge each other frequently uh, throughout the day. I thought our secondary uh, probably got the better of our, of our receivers on this day, although I thought they competed very hard. I thought we rushed the ball very well throughout the day. Brennan Brady continues to emerge along with B.J. Daniels uh, and he's starting to see some glimpses of what we thought Sincere McCormick would be uh, with some big plays today as well from, from a backfield standpoint. Offensive line has been steady. Uh, tight end position, uh, we're very fortunate to have some uh, additions uh, to our tight end position and it has really blostered. We're probably three to four deep right now uh, and that's great in consideration of where we were at the end of last year, still with another to come uh, this summer. Uh, quarterback position has been very competitive. No one has pulled away uh, just yet, uh, but you see uh, you see flashes uh, with with Lowell Norcease, with Frank Harris, with Cordell Grundy. Um, Sutton's coming along. He's, he's a young guy. He should still be in high school right now, but you like his promise. And JoJo's doing a good job for us as well, but no one has emerged just yet. Uh, they're all equally competing and doing a very satisfactory job, if you will. Is Frank showing all those intangibles and such that you knew of him before the injury, yeah, Coach? You know, he, he had this what makes him uh, so dangerous. He was an opportunity today where it was a zone read, and he pulls it and he starts running and signals for the receiver to go, go, and on the run just flicks it over the entire defensive head, defense head for a 70-yard touchdown. But that wasn't even a play design. It's just him being creative and being front. He's so, is he moving? I mean, because yeah, I he's moving well. moving well. Yeah, he's moving well. There's no indication of him being hindered or will not be 100% uh, throughout. I would probably say he's 85-plus right now, but he's moving well. Is there anything new he's shown you or anything you've learned about him in these last couple weeks? Uh, you know, we just have never seen it in, in, in totality because the unfortunate situation. So you've always seen just flashes of it. Uh, the ability to sustain throughout this entire spring season would be the thing that we're trying to uh, accomplish with him. But uh, he hasn't disappointed. It's been the things that we thought he, were, he was capable of doing. And every now and then he pulls uh, a rabbit out the hat and does something like he did today. What about certain... Brendan Brady, uh, Frank? What does he do well? I know he's very steady, right? What yeah. are some of the things that, that you like about Brendan? Just overall, first down, second down, third down, uh, protection, passing game, uh, the ability to run in between the tackles, to run on the perimeter, uh, a toughness, a high intellect that can consistently go out and not miss a beat when we're uh, from the backfield area. You mentioned with Frank kind of wanting to set him loose and just see how he plays, but is there any measure of having to make sure he doesn't get re-injured or keep him healthy? I think that's exactly how you get injured. When, when, when you go into a situation and ask a guy not to go full speed. Now, that means uh, he hasn't, we don't hit him. We're conscientious of it. Uh, I control the whistle. We're conscientious of that, but he has to, he has to get his muscle memory back. He has to play to the speed of the game. It's been a long time since he's played in a game. Uh, so for him not to practice full speed, to emulate that of a game, uh, I don't know how else uh, to get him prepared to play. So he practices full speed, like everyone. I'm sorry. But the defense, you talk about the defensive players. Yeah. What, potentially, you know, what could be the streak? He talked about the front, the front <coughs> seven, but especially the defensive line. Do you, yeah. you, like, uh, you like what you got coming back on defense? I do, like King Newton, like Bill and Baker, like Jalen Haynes. Uh, like Eric and the things those guys doing on the edge, Solomon Wise has been uh, is having an outstanding spring from a pass rush standpoint. Uh, you know, come third down, he he gets his cleat in the dirt and uh, he comes off as fast as anyone we've had, able to turn a toe, dip his shoulder, and get up field and, and really present problems to our tackles uh, that we have to be conscientious to try to slow him down. You don't want to chip him in a spring. 
uh, setting, but we at least got to put somebody there in the presence because he gets to the quarterback really fast. Coach, you have pro day tomorrow. Can yeah. you just talk about what you expect to see out here on this? Uh, you know, we, we have confirmation right now from about 20 or so NFL teams. We have not had a year in the three years where we haven't had all 32 teams represented, so we expect all those guys to be here. Uh, excited, you know, Josiah and all those guys are out here now preparing and uh, Jalen Rhodes and as well as the rest of them. So excited to see he, Kevin Strong, and the rest of our guys compete well. Uh, I think they'll, they'll, they'll perform extremely well. What have you heard from about Josiah? Uh, you know, I've talked to several people about him. They have sincere interest in him. Uh, you know, the tough thing for him, he got this and whatever opportunity he gets in an individual workout with that organization because he didn't get a chance to go to the, the the senior bowl. He didn't get a chance to go uh, to um, to the combine. So that's two opportunities they would already have had seeing him. You know, so it's it's critical this one for him to do the best that he's able to because his first and only impression he'll get with them initially. Hopefully after that, and usually after that, you'll get a workout with individual teams. But they'll, this will be their first time seeing you. Were you surprised that he didn't get a combine invite? Um. I wasn't only because we 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 had conversation before he declared on uh, who was coming out, the amount of seniors that were already coming out, the underclassmen that had already declared or were proposed who they knew would declare, and it was a heavy year at the at the position. So, uh, you know, we kind of did our due diligence to give him as much information as possible. Was hopeful that he would still be able to squeeze in in the spot there. Uh, but I cannot say I was surprised only because we had conversation with the uh, representative from the NFL. Coach, how likely is it that Frank Harris would have started for you last year if not for the injury? Uh, I thought he was in position before he got injured to compete for the starting position and probably at that time uh, arguably in, in the lead for the starting position. Thank you, Thank guys. You,